Hello and welcome to this video. So now we've got the Bollinger Band sorted, I want to do one more indicator before moving on, and that's the MACD indicator. Now I'm on Baby Pips here where they have a description of how to use the MACD indicator. The reason for choosing this one really is it introduces one tiny little new thing into Pandas, and it has a few lines and people like using it. So I thought we might as well have a look at how we calculate it. Scrolling down a little bit, there's some text. I won't bore you with it for too long, but we'll just go over how we need to calculate it. We need to calculate this blue line, it's the MACD line. And that line is the difference between a long and a short period exponential moving average. Uh, the default is usually the difference between the 26 period and the 12 period uh, exponential moving averages. Then we take a nine period exponential moving average of the MACD line and plot them both together. The other thing that's often plotted is this histogram, which is simply bars of the difference between the blue and the red lines. So what I'd like to do is to recreate this signal chart using Plotly. Just dropping down a little bit, there's somewhere on how to trade using MACD if you really, really want to. Essentially what it says is if the line crosses up above, then we're looking for a buy, and if it goes down below, we're looking for a sell, uh, much like a moving average cross strategy, and probably gives a very similar result, unless of course you see a very optimistic picture like this one here. So back inside the code, you'll have realized now if you've been following the course that we're not going to need to do very much to actually calculate all of this. So let's add all the things in that we need. So we need the long period exponential moving average. So we'll type df ema long is equal to df dot mid c dot ewm and span is 26, min periods is 26 dot mean. So pandas has this exponential weighted moving built in. We need to tell it what we want to do and we want to do weighted moving average. So we put the mean on the end. The span is across how far, so 26 periods, we want to do the calculation. The min periods means only force it when we have at least 26 periods to do it on. Otherwise, it'll also calculate us the values over just four or five or six periods when it's starting to go through the data frame, and we don't want that. What we can do is take a copy of this and paste it below and calculate the EMA short. And in this case, we're going to be looking at 12 periods. The min period doesn't really matter too much here because it's superseded by this one and we're going to do a drop NA anyway. The next thing is we want to calculate our MACD line. So that's DFMACD and then we subtract the long from the short. And now we need our signal line and that's the nine period weighted moving average. So we'll say that DF signal is equal to DF.MACD.EWM span equals nine mean. Last but not least, we need to get the histogram value out of this. So we just subtract the signal from the MACD. That's all we need to do apart from one little thing and that's just to drop NA. So running that cell and that should, I'm just going to check by just doing df.head and seeing that we have all of the information and no NAs. Good, and we can see that we've got the signal, the histogram values, the MACD and everything on here. Okay, so what we need to do now then is actually plot this. Now it would be difficult and quite a bit of fiddling around to re somehow use this function with arguments and things like that. So I'm going to make life a little bit easier. I'm just going to copy the contents of the candles function that we had, paste it down here, but not inside its own function. I'm going to delete the uh, candlestick stuff from here. I'm going to delete the loop there and just make sure that we tab everything back here. Otherwise we're going to get some problems and also tab this back as well. And the other thing we can do is we can remove this df markers section here because we don't need that. So if you think about what we want to plot then, we just want to plot a few lines. So the first one we'll plot with the color of O3ADFC. Uh, the name of this one can be the signal. And here we want to plot df plot and then dot signal as the values. I'm going to copy and paste this one directly below it. And on this one, we're going to add on the MACD. So DF plot MACD, the name can be MACD. And in this case, the color can be this uh, FC4A03. And along with those lines, I'd like to plot the histogram as well. So I'm going to copy that here. And then instead of scatter, we can change this for bar and we can take out this line dictionary. We can take out the line shape. We'll keep the name, which can be changed to hist. We want the values also, which is hist, and we can take out this lines mode as well. And that should be all we need to do to actually plot ourselves the MACD chart. The last thing we should do though, is take something to actually plot. So let's do this. Let's take DF plot is equal to DF and we'll just leave it at the 700 to 800. Shift and enter. And there you go. You can see we get a nice MACD chart with the 
MACD line and the signal line. We get the breakages as always as we have done before for the weekends and the histogram plotted as well. We could maybe put that over a slightly larger time range. So let's go from 1000 candles to 1200 and there you can see we've got the plot again. Okay then, so with that one done, you've pretty much seen all of the kind of techniques that are needed to calculate pretty much any of the indicators that are used uh, as standard in Forex trading. What I'd like to do now is package all of these into a script so we can kind of generate them live. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create ourselves a live web app that actually shows these indicators for a set of currencies live on the screen. So hopefully it's been useful and uh, you've learned something and not been too bored. Um, thanks very much for watching and see you in the next one.